Hello and welcome back to the show. Um, today we're doing a little bit of a sit down um, video and today the discussion revolves around one key figure, Jacques Vaughan. The man was named the manager of the month, coach of the month, um, in the month of December and rightfully so. The Nets ended up with a record of 12 and 1 in the month of December, an excellent record, it's actually a franchise record. Um, and look, Jacques Vaughan has probably been the centerpiece to all of that. And look, today we're just going to be discussing a little bit about, um, you know, the resurgence of the Nets um, and how Jacques Vaughan has been at the forefront of all of that. Um, keep in mind that I do watch along, so I think I would probably be well positioned to, you know, put my, you know, two cents in as to or with regards to this issue, this topic. Um, Jacques Vaughan, what has he done that has resolved all the issues with this team? And as you can see, I mean, by the, uh, the resounding, um, crowd interaction, I think that's the word, probably not. Um, the interaction, the, you know, the hype surrounding that Kyrie Irving putback dunk. I think it's very clear to see that the culture around this team, the fan support, you know, all of the above is probably at its peak. It looks like that this is the team that can potentially challenge for, you know, at least making it out of the East and obviously taking it one step th further and winning the entire thing. What has Jacques Vaughan done? I think the number one thing is I've touched on this a lot in my um, watch alongs. It has to be accountability for me and system and identity. Those are the three big things. Um, I said one thing, but it's probably three things. Um, the main thing is accountability though. A lot of players were able to get game time on the backing of not much. They were able to make a lot of mistakes, um, provide some awful minutes, you know, providing, you know, empty stats or, you know, the, the plus minus was really saying a lot about what they were doing on the court at any given time. And um, Nash would re reward that. And you bring in Jacques Vaughan, and the guy is given less minutes to the players that are making these mistakes or, you know, bring about flaws in our game plan. For example, Seth Curry and Paddy Mills. They got a fair few minutes um, under Steve Nash, um, and evidently, um, you know, the defensive side of things um, was very ropes uh, when those two were in the game. And sometimes he would roll out three guard, four guard lineups. And I think the roster really played a huge part in that, um, probably because it was imbalanced and not well constructed. But credit to Jacques Vaughan for not running those bullshit lineups most of the time, um, probably 90% of the time, and, and running, you know, players that deserve the time. You know, the nine man rotation he's putting out there um, is. A rotation that seems sound. It doesn't have many weaknesses. It fits the bill in a number of areas. Um, you know, we've talked about that a lot on the watch alongs as well. KD and Kyrie are the clear, uh, you know, two-man partnership you want in, you know, um, any NBA team. But you've got a lot of supporting pieces that in years gone by, it was very difficult to build a roster that had, you know, such balance. And, and you know, you could go nine men deep and... Um, you know, you'd find players that should not be on NBA rosters, full stop. But this year, you've got Joe Harris, as you know, an eighth best player. You've got Sumner, who's a, a capable player, being the tenth best player. Um, and they all come in and play their role. Um, and that's been, you know, Jacques Vaughan has really allowed these players to flourish. Um, obviously, with a good defensive system and whatnot. But it, it is at the crux of it all is the accountability. The second thing is the identity, and obviously um, Jacques Vaughan was a defensive coach before, um, you know, taking the head coaching job. Um, but that defense has really translated over. And it was really weird that it didn't happen when he was the assistant, um, but now he's obviously been given full reign 
um, and you know there's not really any obstacles in the way he can operate you know the team how he wants it to be operated um, and we're obviously seeing the the entire team flourish um, so it's no coincidence that you know there's a lot of buy-in there's an actual identity now you know the defense was one thing but obviously the offense has flourished off of that as well players are being given the chance to perform Utah has flourished Royce O'Neal got a, a week off and, and ever since he's been playing um, an excellent brand, you know, three-point shooting has been awesome for him. Um, and then you've got TJ Warren off the bench doing wonderful things uh, since he came back. So, you know, those are three players. Um, but obviously, you know, Joe Harris returning to some good shooting um, in the month of December. Um, and obviously, KD and Kyrie playing an exceptional brand of basketball that could see both of them in the, um, you know, All-NBA First Team discussion come the end of the season, depending on how this season plays out. But, um, look, that's probably another thing. Another thing is um, also consistency. I've said the word another um, quite a lot, but um, consistency. And, um, you know, a lot of players, you know, step up in the void of another player not performing. So let's say Utah isn't performing. Um, TJ Warren will be present and ready to perform and be that next man up. Royce O'Neal, maybe another game, will do that. So there's always someone that's willing to fill the void um, and perform. So, you know, you can have one good game every three games, but, you know, um, that doesn't really matter if there's two other players that are going to step up to the plate in the, uh, you know, in the chance that you're not performing. Um, so that's been a key part. And it has also helped when we've had continuity um, within the playing roster as well. I mean, you have 60 different starting lineups last year, and this year, you know, you've barely got any injuries on the roster. So, you know, every single game, there's someone new performing, and there's never really, you know, you're never really delving deep into the bench where there could be a few flaws exposed. But even still, Dayron performed. Um, Patty Mills, Morris, Kessler Edwards, they all came in in that Indiana game and also perform. So when you've got players 1 through 15 on that roster performing and willing to step up when given the opportunity, invariably that's going to come with um, plenty of success. And that's why we've also, um, you know, it's no coincidence that we've been able to win no matter what situation has been thrown at us. So I will give Jacques Vaughan plenty of credit, but also it's got to be, you know, thrown onto the players. I think an interesting thing to point out is obviously adversity has been a big part of, um, you know, this KD and Kyrie tenure. But this year, you know, even in this win streak, there have been moments of adversity. And it's very easy to, you know, associate adversity with moments of struggle or times of struggle. But, you know, in this win streak, when there's been plenty of success, we've had to do it in different ways. We've had to find ways to win in different ways. We've you know, come back from large deficits. We've, you know, been able to hold off teams. We've been able to beat good teams, beat bad teams, you know, overcome bad shooting nights, you know, count on our defense to get the job done. There's always been something different. Um, and that sort of builds off of what I said when, you know, we've, when I said we're, you know, calling on different players on different nights to get the job done. Clax may have a good game um, every so often. I mean, he's had a lot more good games this year than not, um, but you know, there's always someone that's willing to fill the void for, you know, someone that's not playing as well. There's always someone compensating, um, which is awesome. So if that continues to happen, it's really going to, you know, basically put us in a very good position to, um, you know, go the distance this year. Um, ben Simmons has also been a key part of that as well. Um, you know, that man had a really rough, rough start to the year. Um, obviously, you know, had to face his fair share of criticism, but um, he has fought back incredibly well. And that is also another, you know, um, thing I point out when I mention adversity. You know, players have also had their own individual challenges. Ben has been one of those. Kyrie has also been one of those. Um, and that can also be counted for um, Utah, who, you know, had a training camp deal at the start of the year and is obviously, um, you know, he's making every opportunity count. So, it's been, you know, rough for Ben, um, but, you know, he's finally playing his role, and obviously, offensively, he hasn't been 
um, the biggest contributor, but obviously with other players stepping up and, you know, being able to have a 10-man rotation who can all equally score the ball. Ben only is to play defense, distribute the ball. Um, you know, he's still doing some things that he would have done earlier this season when he wasn't performing, but um, on top of that, he seems to have a little bit more IQ. He's being a little bit better with his screening, um, you know, in trying to allow players to get an open shot off his screen um, and also not setting illegal screens because they were far too common earlier in the season. So he's also, you know, seeing major improvement in his game. It's very easy to say that he is improved defensively and, and that's all you say. Um, but, uh, you know, aside from that, he's actually done a lot more than simply defense. Look, I could ramble for days um, about this team because they are playing so well at the moment. I mean, you can't get enough of them. Um, and obviously, you know, we've been basically there the entirety of the way with the watch-alongs. And obviously, thank you for all the support um, in that time. But um, look, I honestly think that that isn't even, you know, the peak for this team. Because, you know, you've still got KD and Kyrie shooting under 40% from three. You've still got Joe and Seth shooting well under their um, career averages. You've got some players that, you know, perhaps haven't, you know, hit their straps yet. You know, Ben is still probably about 75 to 80% of the way um, back. Utah and TJ Warren, well, TJ Warren more so, um, you know, obviously he's slowly had to ease his way back in, but he has also performed incredibly well given the long injury layoff. Overall, sky's the limit. Um, Jacques Vaughan obviously is a lot of, um, you know, he deserves, you know, the plaudits because he has been exceptional in turning this team around and, you know, calling timeouts when necessary, you know, standing up for his team when necessary, you know, really just ensuring that players are held accountable. And I think the players really appreciate that too because, you know, you can't settle for mediocrity. You know, you've got to, especially with a team like this, there's no time to waste. So whatever you can do, especially if it's harsh, um, you know, sometimes the harsh decisions need to be made in order to get the best out of your team. And um, in this scenario with Jacques Vaughan, he has been exceptional at exactly that, in holding players accountable, you know, calling timeouts when there is a blatant mistake, a lapse on defense, you know, an offensive set looks a bit clunky. He calls timeout and makes sure that that is all fine-tuned and, um, you know, ready to go. So, look, full respect to him for turning this team around. He deserves the, you know, coach of the month. Um, and equally, the players also deserve, you know, a fair bit of respect for, you know, the way they've been able to fight through adversity, turn this team around, you know, on the back of good form, good individual performances, good team-oriented play. You know, assist numbers have been up. You know, steals and blocks have also been up. There's an incredible, you know, team-oriented defense going around the group um, in basically every single game. So, you know what? Everything is, is just going right. Um, that's probably the best way I can put it. If you did enjoy this one, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new, subscribe. You know the uh, the Nets watch-alongs are, you know, a pretty um, commonplace thing on this channel. So if you want to tune in and stay notified when I go live to watch every single Nets game, well, not every, but uh, most of, make sure to subscribe. And also share your thoughts about the Nets team at the moment. They are absolutely flying and the results do not lie. Anyway, we'll see you soon. Hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. And um, yeah, we'll catch you soon. Have a good one.